There was a truck driver from New Jersey in his late 50s, married, two kids. One day during the winter, he was going down those windy one lane roads that are on the side of the mountain when you're going through the Appalachians. And he hydroplaned and his truck went over the rail, fell about 150, 200 feet down to the bottom, then exploded. When the paramedics and EMTs got there, they couldn't even recognize his body enough to get a dental record. Because of this tragedy, the life insurance paid out. His wife and his children lived on. At the time that he was about to be 62 years old, his wife decided, because she blew through the insurance money, of course, because girls don't care about money. They just care about stuff. But I digress. She blew through the insurance money, and now she wanted his social security. However, the SSI was declined because the social security number was still being in use. So, of course, the wife concerned that her widowed husband was part of an insurance scam, some type of ID theft. She filed a claim and had it investigated. Plot twist, nigga. So, this is what really happened. So, the truck did go over, but before the truck fell, the truck driver hopped out the truck. He hopped out the truck. And as he watched his truck tumble to the bottom before it exploded, he decided at that very moment, he was done. He was tired of that nagging ass wife, those begging ass kids. He walked up to the expressway with the money in his pocket, never turned around. Walked until he could hitchhike to the nearest town where he caught a Greyhound bus and moved to a small town in Texas with a population of about 450 people. There he met a woman, got married. Had a small infant child and became the mayor of this small town in Texas. When the feds looked up the social security number and found it in that location, they went to arrest him to find out he was the mayor and the entire city cried the small town cried they said yo he's an awesome guy he would never do anything like that he has helped us with the infrastructure man he takes care of his his wife his new kid his he was active in the community he was a great asset nobody could believe that this man changed his name moved to another place and started fresh i say all that to say this Sometimes you just have to walk away and build from scratch. Get away from the toddlers, the toddler apologists, and just start fresh. Not just move from your town to Atlanta or Houston where all the other dysfunctional people move when they don't want, you know, when they run up through the body count of where they're from and they just need some new place to be dysfunctional. No, start fresh. It, a handful of people be great. That truck driver to this day is still my inspiration. I heard that story 10 years ago. And to this day, it still inspires me.